Hello, welcome to Music Theory Grade 1, Week 2. Week 2, we're talking about the accidentals. In Music Theory, the term accidentals is used. Accidentals is used to describe some notes which have been slightly changed. Accidentals are the symbols which are placed before the notes and the stuff. They can be sharps, flats, or naturals. To begin, let's look at the piano keyboard. This is our keyboard. We have white notes and black notes. The yellow note is middle C and the green note is the next note above it. How many different notes are there between these two C's? If we count all the black and white notes, we'll find there are 12 different notes. Don't count the C twice. This span of notes is called an octave. This is not only true for the piano. Every instrument uses the same series of notes. Let's take a look to see if we have 12 different notes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We have 12 different notes. Sharps and flats. We have 12 different notes, but we only use 7 letters of the alphabet. We use the words sharp for high and flat for low with letter names to cover all those in between the notes. Sharps and flats are two kinds of accidentals. We can use symbols for accidentals instead of the word sharp and flat as in the example below. A sharp symbol like this, a flat symbol like this. Find C sharp or D flat on the keyboard. We have C, the black note above the C, it's C sharp. We have D, a note, black note above D, it's D flat. They are both white note, but C is colored in yellow to help find it. In between the notes, you will see a black note. We can say that this note is a bit higher than C, so it's C sharp. Or we can say it's a bit lower than T, so it's also D flat. Here's another example. Find the notes F and G. The black note in between F and G can be called F sharp or G flat. F sharp, G flat. Naturals. The third type of accidental we're going to look at is called the natural. We use the word natural or the symbol. This is the natural symbol to say that a note is neither sharp or flat. This is very useful because sometimes when a note has already been changed by an accidental, which is flat or sharp, we need to put a natural sign to tell the player that the note isn't flat or sharp anymore. Flats, sharps, and naturals make up the main accidentals, and they are the only accidentals you need to know for grade one music theory. Bar lines and accidentals. When an accidental has been written, all other notes which are the same pitch or position on the stuff are also affected by the accidental.
but only until a balance is drawn. Thank you for watching and let's see.